I have been here every day this week, and Dom DeLuise hasn't had his dominoes open once. Hey, Dom! Oh! Don't give me that shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! Who do you... No, I don't want to hear it. You said that you were going to open up a pizzeria for all of our viewers to eat at, and the f place isn't even open! Well, your schedule is full up! I don't care! You promised them pizza, and all they got was a Domino's in a basement that was open for one day. And the pizza box you gave me was empty. Did you enjoy the cardboard? You, Dom, I'm going to open my own pizzeria. Wait, what? 800 likes, and I'll open my own pizzeria and put Dom DeLuise out of business. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Maroots, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 season. I grow this beard out every week specifically for this occasion. Can someone give me a refresher? How did we end up on a series of introductions about Dom DeLuise and his pizzeria that's in my basement? I completely forgot that we were running Bristol today. What a way to celebrate Easter. Let's pump the brakes, though. We gotta talk about Texas, or as I like to call it, the race of the season. That's kind of a stupid way to refer to it. We started mid-pack towards the back. We kind of struggled most of the day. We didn't really run very competitively. Had a caution where I actually backwards boat drafted a guy. Who would have known that he would have taken that personally. The rest of the night he was just looking to make it known that he didn't like it very much. The caution then that David Ragu would cause kind of flipped up the race up on its end, completely changed the complexion of it. Because before that, it was a lot of green flag running. After that, on the ensuing restart, there were, we were sliding. We were down on the apron. You had people making pit stops from the middle of the track that I was driving into. Somehow, through it all, I was eventually able to find myself up towards the front of the pack with Vix Vapor up, who I was having an absolutely amazing battle with in the close Laps. We made a pit stop late, we got back on the track, continued to have our battle. And then caution struck. Jeff Gordon Ramsay wall popped and re-racked the field. On a final green-white checkered restart with Kansas in the lead who found the lead by way of pit strategy, we went off down the back straight away, headed towards the white flag, only to boom! Fucking Kansas! His tire popped and it slowed everyone down that was behind him. I was able to get away. And that's pretty much how we're able to hang on just barely over Vic's Vapor Rub and win our third race on the season at Texas. That win cements us atop the standings by 40 points over Bushy Bushy. Things got all mixed up again. It was looking good like a week ago, a couple weeks ago, but now everything is mishmashed, getting points stated all over the place. Nobody knows what spot they're supposed to be in. Bushy in second place. Then you have Jimmy, who's and fifth, then you have Tony the Tiger, T-Rex, rounded out the top five and fourth. I'll scroll through here and show you, but it's gonna be really hard to explain who's actually in these playoffs after seven weeks because nothing is in order. Guess because of that, I might as well scroll through everybody so you can look at the amount of points they each have and, and try to figure it out for yourself. This man needs help. My paint scheme for the day. Wait till you see this one. What? Oh dear God, <laughs> it's Eutechnics Bristol Day. I'm just coming off of a 500 laps Eutechnics 2013 Bristol stream from last night, which I was able to win by the way, but that is neither here nor there. And that's because every single Bristol Eutechnics is, is its own beast. Until you start peeling back the layers like an onion, you do not know what it is going to throw your way. 14 Bristol Bristol wasn't that bad, but from my experience, I have run Bristol a few times in this game. This is worse. I expect wall pops. I expect big old pileups, big ones at this little bitty short track. You know what though? It's a lot better than if they would have put some dirt on it. If we would have had a Eutechnics dirty Bristol, yikes. Let's get this video started, baby. Let's get this video started. Let's go. I present to you the dipshit story. Fifth Teletubby on the channel, Boobs Motorsport, number 80 car designed 
by Murph Turn 2. Link to his channel in the description. Go check out his channel. Show him some love. I don't know why Dipsy Poe and Lala are hugging dipshit. Because dipshit could have killed them all. Oh my god. I have not looked at this thing yet. This is the first time I'm seeing this car. The dipshit story only on Hulu. We gotta deal with Hulu. Nobody told me. Where's that Hulu money? That, it's serious, it is lovely. That is an absolutely beautiful sight, seeing them all hugging dipshit. Maybe, just maybe, the story will end with them all welcoming dipshit back into their good graces. I don't know if Hulu would want any part of the dipshit story. I'm telling you, watch again, it goes, God, giggles. I'm surrounded by dipshits. Next part of it, it's coming soon, I promise. This is seriously the perfect car for this track because you know the AI are going to be a bunch of dipshits about it. It's Bristol, baby. Welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the Food City 500. Daryl Waltrip, I'm Mike Joy. Mike, have you ever been caught in a blender? Have you ever gotten into the cul-de-sac and tried to win 500 laps? around your neighborhood? No, but that's what Bristol is all about. It's like flying airplanes in a gymnasium. I love this racetrack. Carroll's won here 12 times. The Bush brothers and Jeff Gordon, five apiece. I'm going with Kyle Bush. He owned this joint since I let him have it. But anyway, <laughs> he owns this joint, Kyle Bush. All right, Darrell, here we go. High banks, high anxiety. Racing's a contact sport. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go round. Boys and girls. Thank you, Daryl! Did anybody else have a problem with them lighting off fireworks in the middle of the fucking day? We are flip! I'm breathing in. I'm breathing in my fear. We're underway at Bristol! Yeah! Oh goody! I already took a significant amount of right front suspension damage! I had a feeling that this was gonna be a mistake. This is gonna be an absolute freaking mistake! Come in here! I didn't see myself being the first whopper! This is all a mistake! It's Bristol, bitch! I already fucked up all the Teletubbies! Is that the second week in a row that we've had a caution on lap one? I'm pretty sure. I don't know what happened the weeks before that. I Martin, did it, Martinsville? We have one on. Oh, I hit the ball. Fuck it, fuck it. But I think Martinsville might have been the same thing. We just, we gotta get it out of our system. Oh, the chip, chip bomb cooter. You fucking ass. What are you doing back here anyway? And why are you in such a hurry? Wow. I already, we're five laps completed. Five laps deep on lap six. And the right front. Looks like someone took a blowtorch to it, and it's half melted off. Curious to see, I don't really remember from when I've run here before in the NASCAR 15s how much the AI likes to wreck. In 2013, the AI liked to wreck a lot. Like by themselves, I, I, caused, I, I caused that, I know I fucking did. They love to wreck just themselves. Will the AI have the same tendency just spin themselves out today without my assistance. I really should pit to fix. Is it slowing me down that bad though? It doesn't feel like it is. I would pray to the porcelain gods to see a Eutechnics dirty Bristol and how fucked up that would be. Okay, it don't, it don't turn. It don't turn. Yeah, it, it really. What the fuck am I doing? It does not really turn too well, and I have to chalk that up to the right front suspension damage that we have. I cannot believe I am driving around Bristol again after doing 500 laps. Last night, if you didn't watch that stream, I, you should go back and watch that stream because, oh, man, we set a new caution record. We had 136 yellow flags over the course of 500 laps. Yeah, a lot of them look something like that. I might be the only true dipshit in the field today because I actually agreed to race at this. All right, oh, oh, I'm breathing in the beard again. They were like four-ish wide. I saw a car on the apron, but they all kept it going. That seems to me to be like the major number one difference between NASCAR 13 and NASCAR 14 and 15. 
is they get out of shape. They still do some crazy shenanigans, but they're able to save it in these two games. 2013, they were never able to hang on to the car. I'm stuck back here, brah. I'm not going anywhere. We got this damage. We got worn out tires. They're smoking a little bit. Did a hamster the leader is running me now? We're gonna probably be making a pit stop sometime soon. I saw the 34, 34, the 43, dead sideways. Keep seeing puffs of smoke, but nobody's willing to loop it. We need to make mass changes on our pit stop. That really shouldn't be that too far off into the future. Get, a, get down pit road, adjust the tire pressure, adjust the wedge. Fix the damage, and then maybe we'll be ripping. This is a pretty damn cool car, though. You know, this is definitely, it's like a spin-off. I think it's like the Jemai Foundation car. It, it, I like it. I like it. Murf Turn, thank you for another banger. We're almost to the third of the way home. That's not close enough to the finish. Get me out of here! This place is misery served on a stick. I'd rather be in the grandstands eating corn dogs with a guy pissing on my leg. And here's the thing, I don't like corn dogs. Pit stops have begun. The 98 just threw it down pit road. They're the first. I really, I should get on pit road sooner rather than later, but I am concerned as soon as I pit and as soon as I get left, that there's gonna be a caution flag. There go a couple more, a few more. William Klein, we're gonna be pitting on the front straight away. I'm gonna give it, oh man, do I go to like lap 30? Can I make it that far? What, I, I don't know. I guess we could go like 30-ish laps on the tires. Fuel is never an issue in these races. I've taken it out of the equation. It's always tire management. I'm willing to bet you that we see some tire blowouts by the end of the race. There's definitely gonna be a few guys that push it too far and they're gonna have problems. I gotta come in. There's nothing left of my right rear. I have got to pit. I do not know when the hell everybody else intends to pit, but I intend to pit right the hell now, and I better not be speeding. I better not be speeding 30 miles an hour, goddamn. I'm able to go faster than through my small town. I had to work so fast getting these adjustments in because the pit road is so short. I swear to you, there better not be a yellow flag. I, I like it. Do you ever notice that, how the car gets jacked up? I just heard someone blow out a tire. Someone blew out, someone popped the wheel, they pushed it too long. Come on, Kane and Kane, we have problems and but it's a 26. The 26 has a flag right there. We're looking right at them, man. Now we got the fresh tires. We are giddy up in a go-go. I'm three laps down though. If a yellow flag were to fall, I am fucked! Oh, Bushy! Bushy's got a tire down! Well, these will be some free spots! I just ran a really fast lap. Give me that, give me that, give me those spots! Oh my god! Sticking it in, in the holes! Denny Hamster still leads, he's right there, I want to get that lap back. ASAP, at least one of them! The 26 is still out here! That's gonna bring out the yellow! I got a lap back. At least I got a lap back. But we're going to get a yellow flag because these guys won't pit. Hamster, hamsters down pit road. The leader is in. He made it to like halfway. How the fuck did he do that? No! What? This motherfucker's on pit road and they threw the yellow for what? Get their pit box kids out! Absolutely unbelievable. Like, you gotta be shitting me. How, how am I supposed to come back from this? You know how hard this is gonna be? They can't, wow. Okay, they were feeling real fucking generous. Not everybody pitted. You're supposed to have everybody pit in order for anybody to get their freaking free pass and wave around. I got a wave around, so now I'm one lap down. Oh, and also. Ah! This race is breezing by. Welcome! Fucking beer to Michael Moose's mid race report presented by Gas Can Water. Well, I must say, we are not sitting in a very good position midway through this race. We're a lap down. I knew it was going to happen. I saw it coming. Giggles Logano on pit road. Why? I absolutely saw this coming because I just, I. They're making more and more pit stops. I'm, I don't understand. Now, we were gonna go down pit road and we were gonna be down there for a while. And we had to, we went three laps freaking down. We got a good enough car now to compete. 
There's another yellow. Again, like, yeah, we got a good enough car here, but we're just we're, we're behind. So long, three. Brightstone Cowboy, bitch. We're gonna need a free pass. We're gonna have to get ourselves in free pass position. Hope for another yellow. Hope we don't take any more damage. And we still got another pit stop to make. I don't know how we get ourselves back into this. It's about to be a whole shit ton of work, I'll tell you that. That's, that's all I can tell you about the second half. I don't know what else is coming. More blown tires, probably. More cars in the wall, most likely. Let's see what happens. This has been Michael Moves' mid race support presented by Gas Can Water. They're like, they're going absolutely bananas. And my car is too damn loose. There is so much contact up here, up in the pack. They're three wide consistently getting into each other a lot. I don't know who it was that got into the giggles, but they need to be slapped. I don't have any speed. We are dog shit on short tracks. This season, think about it. Phoenix, bad. Martinsville, bad. And here we are in Bristol, bad. Probably the worst of them all. Absolutely loathe this. I, I am not having a good time. I am having a really, really bad time. As a matter of fact. I just, I, I want, I want, I want to go home. Bobby, I can make it to the end from here. I guess I, I might as well, I gotta get the looseness knocked out. All right, now I'm gonna have some time where I can like relax. I gotta jump, put the adjustments in that I want. There, there's the move. This is big brain moves working right here. Not smooth brain moves, big brain moves. We are going to get this car tuned up right, and then um, we're probably still gonna suck ass. Sloop, oh God. Bristol, you're getting robbed. I didn't even get to finish what I was saying before. How the car magically gets jacked up in the air before the jack comes around on that side of the car. You know what would be a helpful tidbit of information? Who the fuck is on the lead lap and who is not? I am not in 38th. I am not. My beard is falling off. I'm not lining up. Now it's put me all the way the hell up to 26. Are there like other guys that are multiple laps down? Did I gain the positions that way? All of a sudden, I have great track position. Oh, it's McDouche. I got to battle McDouche for a position. That's never... He is actually the... McDouche was the trade, not the transfer spot, but the free pass. Are you kidding me? I was that damn close. And the car, the car just, I can't get it a handle right. What the fuck? I was up there. Now I'm back here. I, I was there. I was in position to get some sort of a free pass, and it didn't happen. And this thing is still too loose. The front end just kind of goes away, just kind of does its own little little thing. It, it goes too much. They're four wide. Here we go, Jibai. Why well, got wrecked, Jibai? Well, everybody in the field, wreck somebody else, wreck Bushy. Well, I got wrecked, Jimmy, man. It's closed because I saw the leaderboard for a split second before, before we wrecked Kmart. That door was 15 seconds ahead. That must have meant that he was on the lead lap and I wasn't. Well, what I don't Our understand is how I keep hit. jumping all around. I'm fucking jumping bean, jumping jack, Our bitch. Side. It keeps restarting me in different places. He braid is the next guy I have got to get ahead of in order side. to be in free pass position. Give it to me. I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Actually, you know what? We gained a little bit from that, so it's all right. Bushy is on my lap. Who the hell is ahead of Bushy? Anybody? Double A Batteries is on my lap. There's a fair amount of people that are a lap down. I blew out a tire. You know that happened to me once? I was driving down the highway and a tractor trailer blew out their wheel right next to my car. That was that was an exciting day. Oh my god, oh my god. It's a battle amongst the lap downers! It's ruthless back here! I'm trying, but they're really like knives are drawn. This is some guerrilla warfare. It's prison rules. Everybody's got a shank. And my car still isn't that good. It, they're white, slow car, blow. What the fuck? What the fuck was even that? I, I, this is why they ditched the spring race and they made it dirt. 
Because nobody can handle the concrete! I it, took buddy. a lot of damage! I'm gonna pick. Tell with it. We need some goddamn track position, and by golly, we're gonna find a way to get it. The player is a wave around. Oh! Oh! I was like just about to be upset that I was all the way back here. But I got the free pass. Somehow, I don't know how my number got drawn, how I'm the lucky son of a bitch that got placed back on the lead lap. But we're back in this! We're in 25th! If I'm in 25th, why the fuck did I restart in my... 88th! They're, they're wrecked again! 35, oh, damn, that was close to 5 wide. This is stupid. This is really freaking stupid. Now I'm on the lead lap again. I can make a pit stop. I'm back here anyway, it don't matter. Get some fresh tires, fix the damage up. Maybe snug up the cart a little bit more. We can still get a decent run out of this. I think we're lined up finally where we are supposed to be, but what's not so great is that we have eight laps remaining. So we have next to no time to make any use of this newfound position that we find ourselves in. I will try eight laps. How many spots can we get? They're probably gonna wreck again. They're probably gonna have another blowout. Jemai is just going absolute ham on the field. He's looking to make up some positions here, too, because he's up there in points. He doesn't want to give all those points positions away. Ten yellows! Ten fucking yellows! I swear to God, I better not have taken any damage on this. And these guys is nonsense. It looked like it was going to be fine. The 20, he's been a busy bee today. Okay, we didn't take any damage. The now, oh my God, we're to five to go. I'm up to 15. Okay, oh my go. God, I'm up to 15. We backed our asses into a pretty solid run at Martinsville with a pretty crappy car. So if we can get a top 15 out of this, I would consider that a victory. Five to go. And uh, you know what? We might not be done wrecking. Get me down in there. We're, we're knocking on the door of a top 10 finish. I did not see that coming, baby. Three car. Oh my God, they're going so slow. Now what the hell happened? I, did, I, did I get into the 19? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. It's not like anybody has gotten into me at all today. I should have really thought better about that. I should have considered how fucked up that might make you and it might damage your car. Because so many people have been considerate of me and my car today. I hope all of you get pissed on. I'm not going to say I'm about to win this race, but I'm about to win this race. Ninth, I'm going to go full sand, bitch, into that final corner. I actually don't know if that'll be true. I, I kind of right, just want a respectable run, and I want to get the hell out of here. Two to go. Darm is the leader. Redneck Jesus on his outside. I think Redneck Jesus is going to get the run on the high side. We might wreck again. We might have a... Get the fuck out of my way, Redneck Jesus to the lead. Yeah, I ain't getting up there. They're still trying to have an accident, have another rendezvous or two. The two is coming back. I think it's going to be Redneck Jesus, though. I'll do it. Fuck it. America. Oh, God. That definitely did not benefit me whatsoever. A nine... Nice. Honestly, it's not that crazy because, like, there were so many yellows. Of course, I was going to get my laps back and, like... Great performance, buddy. You broke into the top ten. Let's make sure you become a permanent fixture there. I fucking won three times, you moron! It's not that impressive because, like, yeah, all the yellows that helped me get my laps back, and then it's like Outback Stenhouse winning the Daytona 500. If you avoid all the accidents and you stay out while other people pay it, you're going to get a kind of a decent run. I mean, that was our best race on a short track. It's just like all about survival for us with these things. We're not going to have very fast race cars this season, it seems like, on short tracks. And, I mean, that, that it is concerning because the round of eight in the chase has Martinsville in it and it has Phoenix in it. And Tex we won Texas, so we, we might have to bank on Texas there at the end of the season, but that that's a long ways out. I'm just I'm saying I um, these short tracks and flat tracks... They're a bit of a pain in the ass. Redneck Jesus gets the dub. Uh, just barely beats out Darb right there at the end. Can it? How the hell did you end up in third with all the shit you caused? Hamster was dominant. He led nearly half the race, but he has to take home a fifth because all those restarts at the end, you just kind of got shuffled out. Wow, McDouche actually showing that um, you're, you're alive. Like, 
there's actually a pulse. How many people ended up on the lead lab? There should be like, wow. All these guys ended up on the lead lap. They all did they all take waiver? Everybody ended up on the lead lap. How did you finish 13 seconds behind, Sideburn Fever? See, there's just there's so many yellows at some point. Everyone was gonna be back on the lead lap. Another successful afternoon at Eutechnics Bristol. You had everything you were looking for. Rack stress on my end, and no win. But we did have a solid result. I am quite pleased with our ninth place. We still sit atop the points lead over Bushy Bushy by 43. We're extended by a few points. Chuba, did it reset again? Everything is back to its correct order. Oh my God. It actually is. I don't, why? How does it get like knocked out of place sometimes? That really, that, that should be something that uh, scientists look deeper into. Well, look at that. I'm now driving the 34 car. How lovely. We merged with Front Row Motorsports. So we lead, and then uh, Jimmy bumps up a couple of spots. He's up to third. Very nice. Denny Hamster bumps up a couple of spots. Dingle Dingle is up to seventh in points. That is remarkable. Three car is up to ninth. The fucking 34 is up to, I'm glad we're partnering with them. Damn. 15 spots all the way to 10th. Redneck Jesus gets his first win of the year, and he is now in 11th, but he's locked in as long as we don't have 17 different winners. Last guy in on points is Old Man Bushy. He's up by one over Booby Labonte, who jumps up seven spots. I would have thought he fell to 17th, but apparently he was even further down than that. Rogate Smith is just out of the cut line by a couple, as well as Carl's Jr., who plummets. It is tight back here. And I mean, this is after eight races. So for it to be this close still, I think we're gonna have a pretty close battle to make it into this chase after week 26. I'll scroll through and I'll show you where everybody currently is uh, placed. Kansas jumps up a bunch. So does Steve Harvey. Darb, tra la 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 is up the point standings from 38th to 29th. So maybe starting to figure some things out. They're just, it's so all over the place. So ass backwards with some of the guys you see back here. He moves up one spot with an 11th. That's how much of a hole he's in. Well folks, next week, Richmond. That Bristol, I would say it did not disappoint. It was it was your typical U Technics Bristol, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also lick that like button very much, please. So it would help me out greatly. Helps the channel a ton. I thank y'all for watching. Ah, I love every single last one of you. And uh, I'm so glad Bristol is in the rear view mirror. See you in the next video, everybody. Goodbye!